My name is Peter Molyneux and I'm Design Director for Fable 3. Yeah, so we're doing, we're showing off some uh, new stuff. Uh, we saw it recently at X10 and now we're showing um, the new GUI. Now, GUI doesn't sound very exciting, you know, it's scrolling lists, but what we've done is taken everything that was in the old school T 2D list and put it into the world. So you've got this place called the Guild Chambers. In your Guild Chambers, you've got a dressing room. It looks like a Victorian dressing room. It's got all your clothes in. You can select your clothes. You also have a butler character. That butler character is played by John Cleese, who was one of the original Monty Python cast. His dialogue is absolutely brilliant. It is going to make you laugh. He has, you know, his voice is so iconic and it really adds to that. On top of that, we've completely looked at how awful our map system was on Fable 2, reauthored that because we wanted to give you a map that made you feel like a king. And that made you, uh, meant giving you something that you could look in and investigate, you could drill down, you could see the world still living. And one of the most exciting things about the, la the map is that you start to realize is that, hey, guess what? The Fable world is alive. You can look and go down at any region, you can see people moving around, you can kind of interact with those people, you can move down there. Again, that makes you feel powerful. It's all about this concept and idea of power. So that GUI side there is pretty, is pretty cool. The other thing that we've been showing off is we've been showing some more stuff on the combat side, and more on the mechanics on the combat side, and how smooth the combat is now, and how you can speedily switch between different weapons. What we did with the combat, the first thing that we did with the combat, and the most important thing is that we got someone called Josh Atkins who was, you know, is, is a world expert on combat. And he came in and a totally, because of him working with the team, totally overhauled our combat system. And the first thing that this guy did, which was so smart, is he went back and looked at fighting games. You know, fighting games like Street Fighter, and, you know, lots of fighting games, and asked himself, you know, that fluidity of combat, the ability to, to, to fast weapon switch and the ability to feel like you're a fighter, and, and then completely overhauled our combat system to make you feel just exactly like that. So to take out the sort of, it was slightly grating the combat in Fable 2. It was okay, and the one button idea was quite good, but it needed an expert like Josh to come in and say, okay, this is the craft of what you're trying to do with the combat. You want people to feel, you know, powerful and successful doing that. Yeah, so, so the other thing about the combat is it's got to be accessible. Especially with something like Fable, where we're trying to say, look, why shouldn't anybody be able to enjoy the Fable world? Why shouldn't anybody be able to enjoy combat? And that means what I, what I really want, we wanted to centre on is, if you press a button, you know, the, it's, it's got to feel good. So each one of our combat dis uh, disciplines, swords and hammers, guns and rifles, and magic, work in the same sort of way. If you want quick attacks, you tap the button. If you want a sustained attack or you want a, a more strategic attack, you hold the button. So in sword's case, you charge up what we call a flourish. And we, the beauty about those, which I love as a gamer, we don't cap the, the build up of power. You, the longer you hold down the button, the button, the more it builds up. And that's how it works with guns, swords, and magic. So if you want a thermonuclear explosion, hold that button down for half an hour. God knows what will happen at the end of that. There's some things we haven't seen. We're still, we still want to talk to you, uh, talk to the world about um, Natal. We still want to talk to the world about co-op and what we're doing with co-op. We're doing some amazing things with co-op. We still haven't shown you anything about what it feels like and how the gameplay changes when you become king. We still haven't really talked about is there any other platforms for Fable which we should be talking about now. We haven't talked at all about um, what surprises that are going to be coming out just before launch. There's a really, really cute surprise uh, just before launch. We have the pub games in in Fable, uh, Fable 2, we've got you know, a pretty cute one in, in there. When there's some more details in the story and there's some more details on social, the social media and social gaming and Fable. So a lot. <laughs>